Hello there everyone, my name is AZ and welcome to How I Animate. Now, I'll be showing how I animate line art and coloring. Now, right now I'm actually doing uh, the aftermath meme but in my own way. In other words, it doesn't feel like a meme at the start but I'm still gonna make it a meme. I still doesn't understand it but still, I don't, I really do not understand how memes work but I like doing them I guess. Now, if you see here, I have three layers here. Uh, I have three layers here, and they're all rough, rough sketches, or rough animation. I'll be showing the video. That's what I've done first, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how I do my line art and coloring on most of my animations. Now, there are different scenarios in which I have to change how I animate line art, and three of those scenarios are actually here. Before we begin, let me just tell how my preferences are with uh, line art. Uh, you use the rough animation as a guide, but not all guides have to be followed through and through. Sometimes you have to change some stuff just so it looks a little better. Here, let me show you. If you can see this uh, frame here, just a minute. There we go. If you see this uh, frame here, it's a little sketchy and it's, of course, a rough animation. What I'll be doing is. I'm gonna press this little button here which just highlights it just so it doesn't get in the way and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my line art uh, most people actually zoom in whenever they do line art but I don't since it actually speeds some things up I only, uh, I only zoom in if it's something that I actually have to do like something I really want to do or Something I'm taking very seriously. This one I'm not taking too seriously. I'm just doing this for fun, so I don't really have to put all my efforts in. I'll be showing you two frames of how I do my line art. And then I'm just gonna speed uh, speed the video up, okay? Okay, so let's begin. If you can see here, I'm not completely following the guide. As you can see, there wasn't uh, any lines there or anything, but I decided to add it just because it makes it look a little better. Sometimes you don't have to add any of the other lines and other things. Just add all that. Uh, don't be afraid to use uh, CDRLZ. All all animators' best friends are usually the CDRLZ button. Well, computer animators, not traditional animators. This kind of feels awkward, doesn't it? I'm not usually used to talking whenever I'm animating, but I'm, I kind of need to. Oh yeah, by the way, if you notice right here, uh, it doesn't look right, right? But since it's not really gonna show up in the animation, it's fine. It's fine if you do that, as long as it doesn't show up in the animation. Because some people think that uh, what animators do is they animate the entire body. That's not the case. And sometimes we don't even make it look extremely good. We only make the shot that shows up extremely good. It'll save up time and why do you need to draw something that won't even do anything for you? Seems really 
weird. But if you do it like that, I mean, there's no problem with that. I'm just saying you're taking up a lot of time. By the way, the reason why I made a line there just so I can fill it up a lot easier. Okay, after that, we have this one. Then we have uh, Zane's, which is another one of my characters. What I'm gonna do is uh, we're gonna turn that off and we're gonna do the same thing. And welcome back! I hope you enjoyed the speed paint, I guess. That's what we're gonna call it since it wasn't really an animation. And now we will be moving to this part. Another case in which... Uh, a different scenario on how I do my line art. If you notice here, there's no in-betweens. It's just this. Just this. And there's two people that I'll be doing. So, whenever that happens, what I do is first you have a new layer, name it something else. Because it'll be stupid having two ones. You're gonna be confused for a few minutes, I guess. What you're gonna do is uh, you grab your first frame. So, what I'm gonna do is just a minute. Alright, okay. Sorry, uh, it was auto saving. Okay, what you want to do first is to draw the first frame. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to draw his face right here. And what I'm, uh, an easier way of doing this, honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, is, you can see what I'm about to do. I'm not going to draw the eye just yet. I'm just going to draw the forehead right here. I'm not gonna draw the head yet. I'm actually gonna go ahead and draw both body parts. Uh, both characters without their eyes. Since what I'm doing is the entire body is not even moving, it's just the eyes that are moving. So, what's the point of even uh, repeatedly drawing the body? It'll just take more time. So, what you want to do is do this. So I'm gonna just do this, follow the line, then what I'm gonna do is do this, um, let me just draw him real quick, uh, keep in mind I'm not good with editing so uh, I hope the editing is not that bad right now, oh I can feel it being pretty bad, oh I can feel it in my guts, it'll be fine, after that, we're gonna put that on the second frame. Uh, don't mind that. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, whenever I do this, what I do is I draw the two key frames that I have. In other words, this frame. I just fully draw it. So this one. I'm essentially just drawing two eyes right now. And then what I do is I grab the second frame and then I draw that as well. But of course I'm gonna do onion skin just so I know where I'm drawing. And I notice a mistake there. Whenever you notice a mistake, don't wait. Don't wait it out. Uh, go ahead and fix it just so you don't forget it. Usually I forget some things if I let it uh, hold up too long. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab the eyebrow right here. Then grab the eye. Then pull it down. Right there. As you can see I've already done the two frames that I needed. Um, not just yet. Okay, now that I have uh, the two frames that I need, uh, the keyframes, 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose how I'm gonna do this and when it's gonna happen. I'd say I put it around here. I'm gonna put an in between uh, right here. So what you want to do is grab the eyebrow and just in between these. I think I've shown you how I do my in betweens and uh, how I animate the rough animations. I hope that helped because uh, this is how I do my in betweens. You just draw what would be in the middle of those two lines. Essentially, here the pupil is getting smaller. Same thing here. Just grab the eye, hold it down, and grab the other eye. There we go. Um, just a minute. Hmm. There we are. Okay, after that, what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna keep in betweening these. But what I want to do is uh, a quick motion of the eye closing, then a slower uh, fixing of how the eye should look. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move some space right here. And what I'm gonna do is if uh, that's there in between, you can also you can already you can already see the movement from there, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this frame and then just gonna over exceed it just so it has this weird bounce that'll make the animation look a little better. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I think. <laughs> just a minute, I'm just gonna just do this. Um, as you can see, it looks a little better with the bounce, right? You saw that, right? The bounce? That's what I'm going for. And I want a quicker uh, movement, but um, slightly slower. Actually, I think this is uh, uh, okay already. Look. Uh, oh, oh no. Uh, right. No, that did not. Oh no. Everything's going wrong! Okay, sorry about that everyone. Let me just fix that. I'm gonna keep that in. I'm not gonna edit that out. Just gonna tell y'all that. Ooh, I can't wait to see this in the editing. What? Uh, it might not be showing uh, since the video is slightly glitchy. There we go. And now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put a little drawback from it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and erase. Oh no 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 no. There's an easier way. We can just grab this, raise it up just a little. Raise them up just a little. Now if I check it out. Okay, that's what I was going for. That's how I do one scenario or one scene in which I don't have any in-betweens in my rough animation but it should be easy enough for me to understand how it should look now I'm gonna move on to the next scene which is uh, slightly harder um, which is this part in which two actions are being committed you can see these two actions the rest of the animation is just pretty much just this so I'm only gonna show this part, okay? Well, how I do this part. Now, just like I said in the first part, it's a guide. A rough animation is a guide, but not all guides have to be followed through and through. So what I'm gonna do here is... I'm so sorry about that, I never noticed my electric fan was on the entire time. Uh, I hope that wasn't annoying, all that sound. Now let's return to how I was doing this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw the first frame, just as always. 
Uh, but first, uh, I'm gonna highlight the one that I want to do right now. No, actually, what's important is to draw the line in between them. Just so I know where I'm supposed to stop it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna draw a quick big old line right between these two. So I'm going to set this up to 10. I'm going to make a big old line. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and grab that line, turn it some ways uh, around, uh, set the uh, center of rotation, I guess, right there. Add it right here. What I'm going to do now is, I'm going to adjust it a little, just enough for it to look. Uh, Okay, oh, I guess. Um, just a minute. I just nope, that's wrong. Just elongate that just enough. Yeah, I'm not good with lines. So sorry about that, everyone. Um, let me just fix this real quick. Like I said, whenever you make a mistake, just fix it. Don't be afraid. Just just fix it. It'll be a lot easier on your part if you do that instead of just waiting for it to be fixed on its own. Which is uh, not such a good idea, honestly. Just a minute, please. It's auto saving. There we go. Now, back to topic. Just like I said, what you want to do is uh, draw, uh, draw the line or draw some of the things that would allow you to know on where the middle is which is very helpful in this case it's this so let me just draw that line there I have a boundary now uh, boundary I have no idea how to spell boundary so I'm just gonna spell it like that come at me grammar Nazis okay so I'm gonna go ahead and show you some parts of this on how I do uh, th in this case of how I do line art. So I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab this. Um, all right, here we go. First, what you want to do is highlight it. Uh, we don't want random eyes on the screen for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna outline. It. That's it. But it's okay to add a little inky dinks there to make it look a little better. Uh, that's what I usually do. Because usually in rough animations, what I would do is just leave it as blank as possible. Just just the body of the character. No clothes or anything, just so uh, I can focus on it. But in this case, this was pretty much just an easier animation. So I didn't really do that. Instead, I went ahead and drew, drew the clothes since I know my character's body types. Because those, they're my characters. So I'm gonna, uh, as you can see, I'm drawing uh, his clothes in a slightly different way on how it should be portrayed in the rough animation. If I can get this right, that is the case. I don't like that. Uh, all of a sudden, yeah, that looks a little better. There. So, uh, first frame's done. I'm gonna do the next uh, two frames as well. And then after the uh, two frames, I'm gonna speed it up. Then I'm gonna go to the other characters uh, outlining, but I'll only show the first frame. Then I'm gonna speed it up again. Okay. So right now, we're gonna do the exact same thing here but we're gonna follow the outline on how the character should be able to move anything that doesn't need to be added especially once you already have a first frame because it's just not gonna make sense it's just gonna make things more confusing nobody wants that or do they okay so 
by my understanding this shouldn't be able to move too much so I do the rough uh, slightly wrong that's why analyzation is uh, an important thing in animating just so you know what should be corrected in this case uh, I made the body look like as if it was gonna move well it wasn't actually supposed to move so I'm going to go ahead and fix that and where I'm just gonna redraw the body and I know what I said earlier but this is a slightly different case because I don't really need to erase any of that because uh, if I do the tactic I was saying earlier I'd have to erase some stuff there's a second frame then we're gonna go to the third frame and if you're wondering what action he's supposed to be doing here, he's supposed to be doing uh, as if he's uh, showing off his claws. Like a fist, then downwards thrust, then claws. That's it. That's the best way I can describe it. I'm not good at English, I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm going to draw the full off. Um. body still isn't moving at this point so just draw it as it was by the way guys if you're hearing some voices uh, in the background uh, I'm still 16 so I think you'd understand that I'm still living with family and stuff so it's gonna be slightly noisy sometimes I'm just hoping you don't hear them. Even if I tell them not to not talk. Okay, from this portion on, I'm gonna go ahead and just speed up the video. See ya! Welcome back everyone, uh, hope you enjoyed the speed animation this time, this time it's a speed animation, not a speed paint no more, yeah. Okay, so let me show off what I did, this what I did, as you can see it looks very well, uh, well done in my words, and if you notice, sometimes I don't really completely follow it. For example, this frame did, uh, this frame didn't even have a rough animation, but I decided to in between between these two, just for more motion. As you notice, right there. Okay, after that, it's time to show how I did how I'm gonna do the first frame, then the speed animation of the other person. So let me just open this up. So let's begin. Um, this person's uh, this person is typically wearing a hoodie, and my idea is his arm is all of a sudden gonna get buff, like ripped inches. So, not really sure how that's gonna turn out, but I really do hope it turns out very well tonight. Uh, well done and nice. Like I said, uh, most of my animations, I'm usually not. I never plan for most of my animations. The only time I'm planning is actually for the upcoming Bendy animation that I will be doing soon. Just waiting for some of my voice actresses and their voice lines. But other than that, I'm just waiting. Um, and once I get the voice lines, that's when I can get started. But I'm not gonna say who are the voice actors. That's gonna be a little surprise for everyone. But I'm gonna go ahead. <coughs> Excuse me. And draw this. Oh yeah. I'm gonna hide that just so I don't have any distractions. 
it's best to keep yourself away from any distractions while you're animating. There we are. And this is when the motion starts happening. And quick speed animation, then I'll be right back, okay? Okay, bye-bye. As you can see here, uh, from being a limp and weak little arm, the arm suddenly gets a uh, buffer and stronger. And I'll show you how that happens. Uh, first, he raises his arm, then moves it uh, to the side quickly. Then he moves it back very quickly, clenches it, and as you can see, I decided to add a little bit more spikes around it. Or yeah, I'm calling them spikes to show that it's all of a sudden and then it becomes so far and there that's how it looks if you compare it to the rough there's gonna be a lot of things you're gonna notice for example um, I didn't actually completely follow the uh, the blur or the stretch in this part and in this part I added the spikes just so it'll look like he did get stronger just to show it off so that's how I do my line art and right here I'm gonna show you how I do my uh, coloring I'm gonna do it to one character since I'm almost out of time in this video I already think I'm out of time so I'm gonna do it very quickly now when you're gonna color the character what I usually do if there's no shadowing, shadowing I just color them just like uh, for example, I want his hair to be green, all that stuff. But now, let me show you how I do my coloring. If I'm not gonna do any shadowing, I just color them. Blah blah blah. There, color. For example, if I want his hair to be green, his eyes, his face to be green, everything green. He's infected. He's the hook. Then that's all I'm gonna do. But when I add shadowing, I don't actually color first. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline where the shadow is gonna be. How does that work? Well, in Flash, uh, most animators do this, and it's actually very helpful. Where we use the pencil tool, uh, minimize it. We don't want it to be ten. That's a little too big. And then we use that to outline where the shadows are gonna be. So let's say I want shadows to be coming from. Uh, over here uh, no uh, the light coming from here uh, from here the shadows going over here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline where the shadow will be like that mm, there and here in the eye I'm actually gonna go ahead and outline it because I didn't add any lines to it so if I'm gonna fill this in the eyes also gonna be filled in so in order to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a quick line in between uh, a line in which uh, it separates where the peach color is and the white color is. And then I'm going to continue shadowing the rest. I think everything else should be pretty obvious by now. Coloring isn't very hard. Uh, compared to line art because line art is pretty much uh, you don't start at anywhere you don't have anything to base off of except for your rough animation sometimes some people don't even use rough animation which is very surprising uh, not really since I also do that too uh, but I don't do it to anywhere where I'm serious but anyway here we go 
as you can see, I'm gonna just gonna give him a random skin color because I've never made a default skin color for him. I, I always go whatever looks better right now. And then I'm just filling in the solid colors. In other words, the colors which are it's normal colors, not the shadows. It's well, the colors that it's supposed to be. Let me just do this. And then the jacket. And then the shirt. And then, as you can see there, what's left are the shadows. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna darken the shadow, uh, the shadow. So I just grab the solid color and make it darker. Then I cover it up with this. Just grab this. Make it a little a tad darker. Um, this darker. Since it's uh, deeper in, it's gonna have a darker color there. Just grab this. Make it a tad darker again. And there. Now, I bet you're wondering, uh, there's lines everywhere. How does this look right? Well, in Flash, there's actually either an eraser that allows you to erase only the lines, or what you could also do is highlight everything just like this. Go to here and just click on this little button, and there. There's a full color of the character. And usually it helps when you make a base or something, just so you can just grab the colors instead of just guessing what the colors are. So I'm going to turn this into a symbol. And I'm going to name it. There we go. And there. Now I have full access to those colors. Now, I hope this video has helped you guys. Uh, and I hope it wasn't too confusing. I'm sorry about all the coughing. I'm slightly sick. And I'm sorry about the fan. I keep forgetting to turn it off. But I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned a lot. And... I hope you understand how to do line art and coloring. Anyway, easy signing out. But before I do that, like and subscribe. I try my best to post two videos a week since animation and art is very hard to do every day. I'm gonna die if I do that. And I'm not gonna finish any animation. I'm just gonna be pretty be, pretty be eh, sorry. Pretty much be an art channel if I do that. So you know I'm trying my best with two videos a day. Not a week, not a day, a week in which uh, the AZ draws and how I animate or the stupid story series. The stupid stories uh, actually take more time so don't be surprised when there's uh, some gaps between them. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, AZ signing out. Peace!